The government is the necessary solution to a problem, and that is us. Lord knows what we might do without laws, but there's a problem with government. That's us too. First of all, the name means something cool. It means uh, to set a thing up firmly in place. It's actually like the word for statue. Just think of this particular problem. If you're gonna have more than one person make the law, you're gonna to have to have a constitution to describe how that's done. Or else you're gonna have wars all the time about who gets to make the law. The constitution is an attempt to organize a form of government that is as close as possible to what human beings are like and what they need. What they're like is that they need and they naturally make laws, and what they need is those laws to be consistently fair and protect them and also restrain them from harming one another. And since it's true that both the thing that needs protecting and the danger to it is the same thing, then you have to have some method of both assembling and granting power and of restraining power. And our Constitution is the best at that in all of history, and the explanations of it by the people who wrote it are the most profound explanations of that kind in all of human history. Is self-government possible? All of human history, all the kings and monarchs and aristocracy of history, had thought, no, it can't be done. Aristotle himself is very skeptical. He's not opposed, but he's skeptical about democracy, the rule of the many. And so the founders are aware this is a very hard thing to do. Indeed, never done in history for a long time before. The Constitution has to be respected. It's the law that gives the process by which we make all the other laws. It is the only law really ever passed directly by the people of the United States. And so the people pick the Constitution. And if you think as I think, that no human being has the right by nature to govern any other human being without the consent of the, of the governed, then of course you have to think that the majority uh, has to approve the government all the time. But in, you don't want the majority tampering with the Constitution all the time. And so they invented a process for the people to pass the Constitution more or less directly, and then that process passed away and doesn't exist anymore. All you have to do is go and look at any place where the law cannot be trusted. You don't want to live anywhere like that. Uh, you want to live instead in a place where your efforts are much less as a percentage dominated by the job of just protecting yourself. Young people long for this, right? To use their growing powers to, to make for themselves a significant life. That's what you want and you need good laws for that. This idea that may be in your mind that you can, if you don't like the place where you can go, you can move somewhere else. That's a fact, by the way, among the, the, the countries that still enjoy the rule of law in the other countries, not at all. The problem with government, the government is the solution to a problem, right? The necessary solution to a problem, and that is us. Lord knows what we might do without laws. We would be not unlikely to take each other's stuff, for example. Um, but there's a problem with government. That's us too. So Madison wrote, what is government but the profoundest of all commentaries on human nature? If men were angels, no government would be needed. If angels were to govern men, neither internal nor external controls on the government would be necessary.
why should we listen to this old thing, right? Written for the time of the horse and buggy. And it's actually true. George Washington had wooden teeth. At least I think it's true. Um, serious people try to figure out what's right, what fits. Uh, the, if there's a thing that is not susceptible of change, uh, we still are born in a certain way, and then we age, you know, and eventually we die. And that happens at a pace that's similar for all of us, right? If we're going to remain human beings, then my argument is we should strive to govern ourselves in the way indicated by the Constitution of the United States. It is fit for things like us.